Hi there. In this lesson we're going to talk about quadratic functions. I'm going to show you how to plot a quadratic function on an xy plane. First off, a quadratic function is a function of the form f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c where a, b and c are constants and a is not zero because if a was zero then there would be no x squared term so a is some non-zero constant uh, b and c are constants and x of course is our variable and x is an element of reals which means that x can take any value we like from the real number line now an example of this would be say for example f of x is maybe x squared minus 5x plus 4 in this case the a is 1 so we don't need to write 1 b is minus 5 and c is 4 now x is the variable and let's say we want to plot this okay so plot f of x equal to x squared minus 5x plus 4 in the domain Uh, let's see, minus 1 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 5. Okay, well what this means is we want our x-axis to go from minus 1 to 5. We want our input values to take on all the values from minus 1 up to 5. Now, we, in practice, we only need to substitute in the whole number values. So that'll be minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So f of minus 1 is the first number we want to substitute in and that's equal to minus 1 squared minus 5 times minus 1 plus 4 which is when we square minus 1 we get plus 1 minus 5 by minus 1 gives me plus 5 plus another 4 is 10 so our ordered pair is minus 1 and 10. The minus 1 is my x-coordinate and the 10 is my y-coordinate. Minus 1 is my input and 10 is my output. So remember functions is all about having an input number and it's mapped on to an output number. The next number in my domain, I'll have 0. So we substitute 0 in for x. And 0 squared is 0, because 0 times anything is 0. So 0 times minus 5 is also 0. So we can write plus 0 or minus 0, it makes no difference. Plus 4, which is 4 and I just need to write down that down here 0 and 4 is that ordered pair now the next number in my domain is 1 so we substitute that in for x and we get 1 squared minus 5 times 1 plus 4 which means we get 1 squared is 1 minus 5 by 1 is minus 5 plus 4 now I'll add my two plus numbers together and I get 5, take away 5 is 0. So in fact 1 is mapped on to 0. Moving on, we want to put in 2 and 3 and 4. And finally f of 5 is 5 squared minus 5 times 5 plus 4, just 25, take away 25, plus 4, which is 4. So when 5 is input, 
The output is 4. Now my domain was from mo minus 1 to 5. So my x-axis, I need to go from minus 1 up to 5. My range is the actual outputs, and they go from minus 2 is the lowest, and 10 is the highest. So I want to go on the x-axis from minus 1 to 5, and on the y-axis from minus 2 to 10. So let's plot that now. So my range, my y-axis, I've gone from 10 down as far as minus 2. And on my x-axis, I want to go from minus 1 up to 5. <clears throat> and now I'll plot my points. Minus 1 was mapped on to 10. So minus 1 is here, and there's 10. So you go across to minus 1 as your input, and up to 10. 0 is mapped on to 4. So across to 0 and up to 4. One is mapped onto zero. Two is mapped onto minus two. That's here. Three is mapped onto minus two as well. So across to three and down to minus two. Four is mapped onto zero. And five is mapped onto 4, so across to 5 and up to 4. So I have all of my ordered pairs plotted. I can now join these up. And it looks like that. Now the shape of this curve is called a parabola. The function is called a quadratic function. You must be careful when you're plotting a quadratic function that you draw it as a curve. Don't join up the dots with straight lines. It must be this nice smooth curved shape. And a quadratic function, you will recognize, because it is always in this form. f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. The x squared is the really interesting piece that you will look out for. When you see a function where the highest power of x is an x squared, then it's what we call a quadratic function. So thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you'll join us for the next one.